Hey Virgo, we dealing with root chakra issues today. Um, a lot of things are coming up with childhood issues and things that may be blocked in our root chakra or hindering us or causing stagnation at the present moment. We popped our welcome clear vision and inspired action. <laughs> I just told Sagittarius I was curious to see what Virgos was going to be because I, I don't, sometimes I don't even, childhood was like, my childhood was, yeah, it's on the five because my childhood was kind of like cool, then it went shitty, then something. It was just all over the place, you know. It wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best either. So I was trying to figure out what was what's my issue, you know, what's really blocking me, what's in my in my root that's blocking me. I'll be thinking about it just like everybody else. Healing is infinite. You're always going to be on a journey, you know, seeing things in a deeper way. Or things being revealed to you that you didn't know, you know. So some of you are somewhat like Sagittarius. This is what makes it funny to me because <clears throat> it's crazy what I'm seeing. I think I read a book and I know they have them out here where it shows you the uh, kind of like what each zodiac sign is as a child, how that child would be. So you could just imagine a Virgo child. It's no different than a Virgo adult, you know. If anything, you probably see the purity or more of the attributes of that sign when that person was a child. So it's one of five. It says, I welcome clear vision and inspire action. Me, as a Virgo child, I couldn't do anything unless I was inspired to. You may have dealt with that too. If you had a mother or a father, I had a mother that was a Pisces, so she was real uh, dreamy. And it's like, okay, we need a practical plan for that. Even though she, she knew how to do magical shit, create something out of nothing. A lot of mothers do, you know what I'm saying? However, sometimes she would want me to do stuff because she wanted me to do it. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do it because I was inspired to do it. Because, excuse me, it felt phony to me. It felt forced. And that caused a rift in our relationship. And some of y'all may have dealt with that or are dealing with that now where you have a rift in your relationship because your parents want you to be something and do something that sometimes you just don't want to do. You know, call your auntie so-and-so on the phone and check on her. I'm not in the mood to do that right now. I'm dealing with something. You need to call your aunt. And you know if you don't call the aunt, then it's going to be a problem kind of situation. But that kind of stuff. With a sensitive Virgo child, it can fuck you up in a way where you become a hermit and don't call on nobody on the phone. Don't even talk on the phone like I don't know. You know, I'm some real shit because my mother stayed telling me to call so-and-so or to go check on so-and-so because that's what she did. That's what you do. That's what you may be inspired to do. I'm not inspired to do that. However, when I do get inspired... I'll call whoever I'm inspired to call. And the people that you're telling me to call that I don't want to doesn't mean I love them any less. I just don't want to. I welcome clear vision. You clear about what you were doing and where you had to go and all of that stuff. That's why a lot of Virgos do horrible in a twin flame union. A lot of Virgos do horrible in relationships sometimes. Because you will know, okay, this is where me and you can take life. Let's just leave twin flame out of this, okay? Let's just say person to person, soul to soul. If the person has a clue of what their soul is, you can say, okay, me and this person, this is where we can go. And you have clear vision about it. That's why some people would think like, damn, I thought I was special to Virgo. But she act like this with all the guys. Or he acts like that with all the girls. No. We're just very logical people. And we're visionaries. And our vision is clear. So when we see you, it's kind of like that. Uh, and this is what anything. It just happens in the love department more than it should. Because people, when you have clear vision of something, you know exactly how it's going to play out. Like Michael Jackson. This is it. He knew that was it. You know, he just knew. He wouldn't have named it that shit if he didn't know that was going to be the last time he performed. Even if you look at it, you can tell 
he is literally like in, I was watching just a clip of it and I was like, damn, he was like, I can't even, I can't even, it was just like he embodied every time he ever went on this stage. Like he was, he was walking, eating, breathing musician. Every move he made was so effortless where just say on another, in another, um, concert or event he couldn't get the dance move quite right this one i mean everything was because he knew this was his last this is it it's my last time gracing the stage that's a virgo it ain't personal it but it is because we're gonna love you with all of our might we're gonna love you from the purest essence of our soul however we're not we don't like waiting because we already know this is where we can go with this. And then it's always a flop. It happens in business with Virgos too. I know exactly where it's going. We could go with this. This is going, this is going to go over here. We're going to do this. We'll do that. Nobody listens to you. A lot of that is what caused my, on top of me being a channeler, it caused me to go through a lot of mental anguish and deal with a lot of mental health issues because I always could see where, my family, we could corral together and make something happen, but nobody would ever move out on it. And it will always get put in my lap, but I will always look like the crazy person too. Because I'm all I'm speaking in advance exactly what I see that we can do if we work together. I'm not here just to sit at this table and eat with all you niggas. Let's do something with all our put our heads together, put our finances together. Let's get something so that we don't have all this stress and strain and all these different households. It makes no sense. If we're going to keep gathering here and talking, why don't we put our heads together and come up with something so that we don't have to struggle individually? If we could come together collectively, then eventually maybe we'll be able to move out on our own so the struggle won't be so heavy on each individual person because all we're coming here to talk about is the struggles. Some of y'all dealt with that as a child. You just seen this shit. You know? And sometimes, it's so crazy. It happens to me now every once in a while. Some of y'all Virgos, it may happen to y'all. Where y'all see like raindrops falling in front of your eyes. It's not literal raindrops. No. They're, they're, it's the spiritual. It's spiritual. Where you can just see rain in front of your eyes, but it's not raining. That happens to me a lot when I'm about to go through something really, 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 really deep. You know, that the average person will fuck around and die. Can't it shit? <laughs> but I mean, I always had it. Some of y'all may have had it. I mean, it ain't come up for nothing. I welcome clear vision and inspired action. My actions is only going to be inspired. I'm not doing nothing that you're telling me to do. I'm going to do it when I want to do it, how I want to do it, because I see the vision. Plainly, I see it clear. Let's go this way. And like, uh -uh. You got to deal with egos. Egos to a Virgo child will destroy that child. If a Virgo child, because we simple, so we telling you a simple way to get there. But you keep telling me, my father was a visionary. He was a Renaissance black man. He had gas stations. He owned his own businesses. He had, he, he brought people, my mother's people from the South and showed them how to make money. My uncle said he had him selling weed off of a Pepsi truck. And my uncle came from the South, so he thought that was just so taboo. But I'm like, shit, I was ingenious, low-key, because he just set you up. It wasn't nothing but weed, nothing like it was cocaine. You know what I'm saying? You had your Pepsi route, but the people on your Pepsi route wanted weed. So what the fuck is wrong with that? That's how my father saw it, as a Virgo. My uncle is a whole nother sign struggling with that shit to this day because he thinks that God is getting him for that. I'm like, what? No, I ain't got nothing to do with my daddy. It was an ingenious, simple way to build a clientele. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. But it's real. For real. Let's be honest, Virgo. Don't that sound like, damn, that is good. Do that on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> but people don't listen to you and then your family end up a wreck and then you sitting back on some Beyonce on my high priestess candle or high priest candle saying 
fuck you want from me? I told y'all, don't go down that street. Don't go that way. And then you end up becoming a habit where everybody's still turning and looking to you for answers. Ain't got no more answers. The answers that I gave y'all, then you don't want to take it. So what the fuck you looking at me for? So let me all go through that. This is why we don't have no friends and shit. Because once we said what we said, and you don't take the advice that we give it because we're not giving the advice out of a place of ego. We're giving the advice out of inspired action, telling your ass, because we don't talk to too many. We're inspired to tell you this. Secondly, the vision is clear of what I'm seeing for your life, which makes us an automatic high priest. That's why the high priest card is Virgo. You don't want to take it? Your ego in the way? Well, fuck out of here. Ain't nothing else for us to talk about. So now we don't have no friends. Even though we are vibe, but how can I be? We'll never be friends because everything I'm telling you, you got to rebuttal or you want to come to me for some type of advice. Even when I don't feel like giving it to you, I still find the inspiration to give you, you know what I'm saying? Because we rule by the sixth house, that's service. I'm finding the inspiration to give you this to put into action. And I know that it will work because this is the same shit I've been telling you to do. It's clear to me. Don't keep coming to me asking me the same shit. This is how we end up falling out with a lot of people. But they don't get it. If you had the gift, then you would. But you ain't even empathetic enough to put yourself in my shoes. But you keep coming to me asking me, what should you do? And I'm telling you, this is a clear vision. And then you will turn around and project on me to say, I'm egotistical. Or I'm a know-it-all. No. You keep asking I have to keep finding the inspiration to tell you the same shit I've been telling you. Go down that street, do that, do that, do that. You keep going down this street, getting yourself into that, this, that, this, that, and this. What do you want from me? Please tell me, because I don't know what else to say. Then you end up with no friends. It's fine. Okay, well. Hermit mode it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. And look. Clarity. Virgos are the bomb when it comes to getting clarity. If you want to get clarity, you want to have clarity in your life, keep a Virgo friend. For real. And it's on the fucking five. So that lets you know. We can see straight through the chaos and straight to what the fuck is going to be. If you trust us as your friend or if you trust us as your lover, then you're going to take what the fuck we're saying and you're going to win the game. I'm telling you. That's how Kobe was. It's a gift. What can you do? It's torment when nobody listens to you, especially as a child. So a lot of Virgos, I don't know, I was a mute because I had clear vision. And I only moved or talked when I was inspired to. You have a damn what people thought. I saw exactly where that shit was going, wherever the fuck I was at, whether it was going good or whether it was going bad. All I was interested to see how is this going to unfold because I see exactly the end of this shit. I want to see it unfold. I know how it's going to unfold, but I want to see it unfold for good or for bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to keep on pulling chains and telling y'all, y'all fucking up. I'm just going to go along with the ride because I do know I'm going to be alive when I come out of this. Like Uncle Michael knew, this is it. <laughs> okay. So you got a lot of Virgos that see their death too. It's crazy, I know. A seed of passion and desire lives within each of us. This seed is our spark, a voice that reminds us of who we are at our core. Root chakra. It keeps us on track, inspires our mission, and craves clarity. The ego is strong medicine. The bird, ego, not ego. Eagle is strong medicine. He can soar to great heights and into it the winds of change while maintaining a clear perspective and grounded connection to the earth. When your vision is clear and you know what you want, taking inspired steps forward feels more effortless. If things are not yet clear, the sincere act of asking and listening will lead you there. Imagine you're an eagle soaring over the majestic landscapes that make up your life. Embrace all that you've already created and acknowledge your journey. The bigger picture, bird's eye view, can help steer you as you welcome clear vision and inspired action. It says, upon waking, be completely digital free, phone or any device, for the first 30 to 60 minutes. 
Choose and commit to the timing that's realistic for you. No email, texting, social media, more time for breakfast, meditation, art, reading, movement, loving, giving yourself space to settle into your own energy field. Virgo, do you got to do that anyway? Mm -hmm. As a child, some of y'all had to do that. You needed time. You couldn't just pop up and get go to school. Uh -uh. You had to have your time to eat your breakfast, to take care of your little business, whatever your little business was. I, I already know. I watched Friday when I was in high school. I had to watch Friday every morning. Ice Cube movie with Chris Tucker. I had to watch it every morning. I just had to. It uplifted my mood so I could be able to get through school. But that was a ritual that I did, so I had to wake up at a certain time earlier before I get into the hustle and bustle of life. Now we get social media, so that's the one thing that people hurry up and go to. Like people used to hurry up and go to the newspaper. You know what I'm saying? Hurry up and get the newspaper off the porch kind of shit. Same thing. Y'all just got to take the time. If y'all used to be like that and you're not like that, you may want to practice this and get back into it. It says, have a big, big glass. I, I drink my water at room temperature. I've been drinking it cold just to clear out my body because cold water makes you go to the bathroom more. But it says, try this. Have a big glass of room temperature water. As you drink, focus on purifying, clarifying, and hydrating your entire system. Drink this sweet blessing with gratitude. Optional, soak a quartz crystal in your water for an extra clarifying charge. I do Shundite, but y'all could do like a clear crystal. Make sure you, you know, clean it up good. You a Virgo, you already know you're gonna clean it up good. Put it in your water. Get further clarity. You may want to, you may not even need to. Because I was gonna say, sometimes it's excruciating on a twin flame journey. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's just not a good journey for Virgos because it'll fuck you up. It'll, it, it, could, it could potentially take a Virgo out beyond repair. Because we already know what we see with that individual. And if that individual isn't mature enough not to listen to other people tell them about a Virgo, then we're in trouble. And we know that too. So that's like upon meeting people, like I said, you'll know we're not going to work out. It may seem cold, but I already saw this. Okay. I dated a Virgo and I told him we would be in big trouble. We're going to be in big trouble. We shouldn't do this. It wasn't that it wasn't going to work. We could have worked. We could have worked excellently. However, I knew he was going to be afraid because he wasn't where I was. And he was afraid. And when it was time for us to separate, it was the most excruciating shit I had ever been through. Outside of this twin flame bullshit. They say it's a sacred journey. It is, but it's a lot of bullshit coming from the person that's the runner. I already seen this already. You know what I'm saying? Just like somebody making you sit in a goddamn movie that you already seen. And you have to sit there day in and day out. And it ain't, I mean, it ain't all like that. You know what I'm saying? I watch Friday every morning when I was a teenager, okay? And even still, I didn't sit up there and watch it all fucking day long. When you see a clear vision, that's just like when Beyonce saw Jay. She knew this one for me. It's over with. She also seen things in him that was going to humiliate and embarrass her and could have possibly toppled her career and killed her or put her in a mental state that she wouldn't have been able to come out of. So it was a dangerous gamble. It was. Because of she being a Virgo. This what I say. Twin Flame Journeys is kind of... Uh, Cause uh, I already seen this and you about to be doing all that and you're going to be pulling on me. You're going to be doing this shit. I tell people when I was 18 years old, I read about the twin flame journey and I didn't want anything to do with that shit. I didn't. The first person, this is the only person that I've been on this twin flame journey with. People may have seven of them. I've heard people have multiple twin flames. No. Uh-uh. I decided at 18 I wasn't doing no shit like that. He got in where he fit in. And what's so crazy, he came right after I went through the excruciating pain with the Virgo that I was seeing. For three years, we could have made it, but he had too much shit listening to people and all of this. And I had already seen 
And it's going to be very difficult for us if we take it here, but we can come out of this. But it was too good to be true to him, and then he sabotaged it, which just made it flatline. But it was hard as fuck for us to just take, you go that way, I go this way. It was so, it was, it was terrible. I went into a mental hospital, and then I, I don't know why I'll be sharing these stories with y'all, but since y'all my subscribers, fuck it, because I ain't never gave a fuck. It already happened, and maybe can help somebody or bring clarity even further to you so you don't feel like you're going fucking crazy. Or like the person that you may be in separation with don't feel the same. Bullshit. Because I don't consider the person, the person that I was with, that was the Virgo, the person that's the twin flame, they could be brothers. I mean, for real. Like the look, everything. I was like, what the fuck? I felt like I was meeting him. So I felt like he, if I would have went with the Virgo, I would have never had to deal with the Twin Flame Union, which I never wanted to deal with anyway. I said that when I was 18 years old. When I read it, I said, it's some bullshit. I seen that very clear. Because this motherfucker running because I'm a mirror. Because we so much alike. Well, ain't that complimentary? You don't want nobody where ain't nothing y'all do a lot. I mean, you want somebody that got their own identity, true enough, but damn. You want to be in agreement with some shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be, okay, I don't, I like classical. I don't like rock and roll. Turn that shit off. Everything is not the same. Who the fuck want to be in some shit like that? I want to be in, I want to be congruent. I don't want to be incongruent. I want to be complimentary. I don't want to be so opposite that we end up being, becoming repulsed by each other. Because nothing that you like, I like. And nothing that I like, you like. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes if you introduce somebody to something, they may not even know they that they liked it, but they do. And they're like, man, I like this. Oh, okay, cool. I like this stuff. You get along. Okay? It ain't all that bullshit. Baby, let me tell you something. <laughs> My, the Virgo relationship was easy like Sunday morning. So was the Twin Flame. Until... The bullshit that I read about. Okay? So it never had to deal with that. However, the Virgo self sabotaged. It went to shit. It was just too many people. It was just too much shit for him. He said he didn't like problems. He's a Virgo. Okay? I understood that. Because we're going to have to be the ones to solve them at the end of the day with our analytical mind and with our service working ass. I understood it. He kept it G. I kept it solid. All right. See you next. Never. You know what I'm saying? Don't wish no bad on you. Ain't wish no bad on me. We went about our way. Prayerfully, he's married or got somebody good and got a baby because he wanted one because he didn't have any children. Don't wish no harm. I love him to this day. If I see him, I give him a hug, give his baby a hug and tell his girl she's very lucky. However, this other joker... This, I'm stuck in this twin flame. Like, what is this? Why the what? Like, how did I? How did he even sneak in this? Like, why did he just run the ball? How did I get in? Why am I in this silly ass shit? It'll mess your head up as a Virgo. And then if you put witchcraft in there, if you put you get a if you get a twin flame that's promiscuous. Now, mind you, you already seen what you could do with this person upon meeting them. It's not fantasy land. It's clear vision. You see exactly where, okay, this is happening with you. This is going on. Da, 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 da. Virgos handle relationships like a business meeting, which it makes us kind of like, it makes men on a woman's side, and some women may not even know how to deal with a Virgo man because it'll make you like you, like, like, hold up. Who the fuck is you? Do? Kind of shit, you know? <laughs> or who the fuck you think you is, kind of shit. And then that's when the ego war start. You're like, no, don't start that. No, I'm not in my ego. I got clear vision. I seen it. Come on. Wasn't it true what I said, kind of shit? You see why? The twin flame journey is very dangerous for Virgos. It is. I hate this shit. I, I don't want to be bothered. I already seen it. If you don't want it, go about your life, but don't hover. Don't be in my energy field. Don't do shit because potentially somebody else could come in this space that don't have nothing to do with this twin flame shit. I'll just see. I could do something. 
And I did, but that person wasn't ready. So I had to, and then the twin flame energy was still around. And next thing I know, and it, it was it was a wash with that one. I'm like, man, it's some bullshit. Cause I know that you cannot reach your full potential without your life partner. You can't. You can't. You can't. I don't give a fuck what people say. Uh, that's such thing you can't. Uh, I reach higher heights than that. Okay, what are you talking about, material, bitch? You ain't talking about that. I'm talking about something money can't buy. To get yourself all the way tight, you need a mirror to show you and say it is you off right there. And they need you to say you off right there. And it ain't no ego. It's ego. Clear vision seeing above the fray and the bullshit. Temperance. Be patient is what they tell the Virgo. <sighs> If you got clear vision and somebody telling you be patient, you don't want to hear that. It's not good. It's not because you already know that you have to walk through what you already seen. It's nothing. Virgos to me are the most naturally patient sign in the Zodiac. Most people would think that we want it right away. No, we just don't want you to fuck it up right away with your ego. We're ego. We see clear to where we need to go. Now we need to get a bunch of you humdrums to get over there. And that shit ain't easy. And you got a bunch of humdrum motherfuckers saying, be patient. We coming. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this. <laughs> then you get blamed for all candy shit. Oh, I mean, it's 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 unreal. So many shit I get blamed for. Wow, really? Tell me more. Put you straight like this. This is so dangerous. Twin flame journey to do this. You do your child like that as a Virgo. The root chakra issues. A lot of y'all root chakra issues are stemming from relationships. Clearly. Cause you already seen what was up with that childhood shit kind of situation. More of a quiet hermit, read, write, journal, do puzzles and shit to make it through whatever it is that you've seen that you have to go through to get up out of that situation, which means you've grown now and now you run your own household. However, you run in your own household and you meet a man or you meet a woman and you see exactly what you could do with that individual. Don't come telling me to be patient, please. Because you're fucking me up on top of your promiscuity and all the other shit that come along with this stupid ass relationship shit. That sinks most of the time. You say, oops, saw that coming. They say Virgos. If Virgos was a key phrase, it would be, I told you so. A lot of people say that. Y'all probably heard that. For real. It's like a Virgo mantra. We don't say it because it's repulsive. We low-key get nauseous to have to. So we stop talking at a certain point. We're not going to keep saying, I told you so. Because now, you, now you're trying to push through somebody's fucking ego. And you're pushing through a transmute for other people's darkness that you done been already come clear up out of. Because what did it say? You're on a five. It says the ego goes straight through chaos unscathed because he sees clear vision to where he needs to go. Just push through it and keep it pushing, can you shit? But baby, you get around the wrong family, the wrong man, or end up in the wrong situation. And they don't be wrong, so to speak. But they be wrong, so to speak. And they use you. And you assert it. Because you rule by the six house. That could drive a motherfucker insane. Why a lot of Virgos lose their mind. It's true. Fuck what you heard. He say, small fish in a big pond. Some shit is not your issue. Which it ain't. But people make it your issue. Until you be patient. Because they 
running from their motherfucking self for real. And their ego. This is my ego card. I always say that too because yellow is where her heart is. Your solar plexus is not connected to your heart chakra. They're two different places. I got on a red dress. We get to the root, ain't we? And some hoes know that. They deal with y'all divine masculine, that y'all in separation with. They know they know how you work. Because they're gonna study the Virgo. So they drive you crazy. And they can do that. And it's fucked up because your person is so fucked up and egotistical. They don't care. They think it's funny. They think it's nothing. They stick, they're standing far off somewhere looking like fuck her. This and that. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z and, and Beyonce is a perfect example if you want to really watch the lemonade or do whatever the fuck you need to do or see how he handles her now. She's fragile. She been that. That's what Virgos are. Most people know that. And they play us soft. But we a click off too. So they stay from a distance doing shit. If a man really loved you he and he knew, he would have you right like this. Because he would understand, oh, they're trying to drive Bay crazy forever. Some of y'all divine masculine still ain't made the move because they too interested in their own bullshit. That ain't shit but ego. And you had to do this. Some of y'all had to do this in order to even break through a little bit. And they still got that damn. I'm going to fuck with this a woman's fucking dress. They still, some of y'all Virgo men dealing with an egotistical woman still get the damn ego where the heart chakra is supposed to be. And tell you, be patient. Why they cheat on you, do all kind of shit. And you gotta transmute that shit. You gotta push through that. You tell me. <laughs> Why I didn't want to do the twin flame journey? Is you crazy? Uh-huh. This hoes right now. They don't care nothing about you, Virgo. They don't have no sensitivity or nothing. They want to see you fucked up. And some of y'all divine masking this. They think they holding on to your hand like this across. They ain't with you though. Y'all in separation, they not with you. You feeling like this. And they holding your hand. Uh, in 5D kind of shit. Like, man, I swear to God, if you don't get the fuck away from me. That's just how I feel, bruh. <laughs> if you was in my shoes, you would be talking the same way. I mean, oh, Virgos talk real slick out their mouth. Bitch, you better go to fucking it on, but you don't have a mouth. I see that very clear. Magical new beginnings. <laughs> Y'all see that Virgo? I don't either. <laughs> People be lying. Look at the back of this card. Stop lying and tell the story, Sarge. They still on the be patient. They holding a yellow staff connected to their ego that they think is their soul. A lot of times, it do not be God saying be patient. No. Absolutely not. I'm telling you that right now. You put people in a whole bunch of trash saying be patient. And really just feeding off your energy. While they sit up and have blocks in their heart chakra saying you carry three. Looking behind at a bitch they used to be with that ain't got nothing to do with you. But she's steadily attacking you from across the room. Some of them say they learn a lesson, Virgo. I don't know. Because this quickly got off of childhood. Because y'all be seeing straight through illusions. You don't stop for anybody that you already know it's not going to work with. We've been there, done that. When you were a younger Virgo, more than likely you did that because we love problems. But we love solutions more than we love problems. We have to have something to work out. But if it ain't working out, that means we're counterproductive. 
we're in neutral. We're spinning. We're not getting anywhere. We're not about to do that. So I'm going to see you later, alligator. Whoever don't understand that can kiss our fucking ass. Twin Flame Journey is dangerous for a Virgo. I don't know about any other sign, but I do know for a Virgo it is very dangerous. And if a motherfucker can't put their ego aside to conceal about you, just to bring you some water so you could do that little experiment and drop a crystal in there and feel better. I mean, what the fuck? What, you, what the fuck, bro? What you, what you want me to do? What you want me to say? Or do you need to ask somebody what you should do and what you should say to a person that you was all hand in hand with, body to body with, that you know wasn't the same as all these other women that you was fucking sleeping with? That's the reason they fucking attacking me. Because I've seen you for who you were. Because if I seen you for who you were and it wasn't who I knew was best for me, I wouldn't even gave you the fucking time of day. Now you taking this shit a bit too far. Cuh. You all still pray for this person because it's nowhere to go. It's nowhere to go. You're not going to stay in bitter because in bitter means inspired action. A Virgo not about to sit in embitterment. A Virgo get too embittered. A Virgo going to take action because why? We like to solve problems and this bitch look like she got one. So I'm on my way. But we don't want to go there because we got clear vision on where we know our life could be. With this idiot or whoever the fuck. They always got a bunch of donkeys that they're carrying or got to ask what to do when they way smarter than the motherfuckers that they asking. You saw that too, Virgo. You got to take it to prayer. Really to keep you from killing some motherfucking body. For playing with your vision that you've seen. And it ain't yours. It's just a vision that you've seen. Straight like this. She can see above whoever the fuck below her. You seen this man or you seen this woman exactly for who they were and where you could go with this person. If you didn't see it working out, you was cutting that shit loose. If you seen or smell any illusions, you cut that shit loose. That's how Virgos work. At a certain age, when we younger, we're going to play with you because we want to work out the problem. But if the problem is only bringing more problems and we're not getting anywhere with your funky ass, we're going to drop you like a bad habit. You can call us cold. You can call us callous. You can say we're the top ranking in serial killers. You can say whatever the fuck you want to. But I know me and I'm about to get up out of here. If I see a black hole, come on, keep it 100. Even as children, if you saw some shit fading to black, that friendship was over. That little flame you had with that boy was over. This is how you cut. It is what it is. However, as an adult, if I see this with a motherfucker, I'm definitely in My number, no. Go what? Do what? You got me fucked up. And it ain't hearts. It's not blocks in your heart chakra. No. You trying to prevent these three swords from going in your motherfucking chest because you already know what that hit for. Clear vision. Inspired action. I'm about to get up out of here. I walk right past that dark entity or demonic force. You got to be worth the pain to a Virgo. And we'll see that you are. But don't keep playing. That's what makes the Twin Flame journey very dangerous for Virgos. The Empress. Again. Seeing yourself with children with the person. I mean, you see it all. I mean, you can't help it. It ain't like it's the greatest blessing sometimes. 
because shit, you gotta wait for motherfuckers to catch up with what you've seen. If they ever do, you may not even get it this lifetime. And you sitting up page of voices. These are the energies y'all divine mixes with. They don't, they stupid. Wasting God's time trying to recreate you, Virgo. And some of y'all was in this, y'all have been in this vibe since y'all 15, 14 years old, 13, 12 years old. Been on this shit. Some of y'all divine masculine is fucking off with these many women, four, five, and they all who you used to be when you was 12. Man, come on. And you ain't see none of that shit in your vision. So who's doing that? Witches and a dumb man or woman. If it's a woman that's sitting up with that shit and got a Virgo man and waiting in a twin flame dynamic. Been ready to go. And motherfucker think you crazy. You ain't crazy. I know something. I seen it. Let's go. Because guess what? If it ain't them, you ain't about to get that motherfucker the time of day. I don't see shit with you, bro. The problems. And I ain't even got the time. Because I ain't about to be nobody, Cinderella. And you ain't about to be draining me on my motherfucking energy. See you later, buddy. People can say whatever. I'm cold, I'm callous, I'm heartless, whatever. Whatever you want to say, that's fine. But I know what's going to work and what ain't. And what ain't going to work is you and I. <laughs> You'll be looking just like this. <laughs> Clear vision. You hear me talking about... Uh, uh -uh. No, sir. I do not think so. Just like I know when I was spiritually kidding that bad motherfucker. I ain't seen you coming back and I ain't seen me with you. But if this what you want to do when I'm supposed to be going this way, fine, let's go. Now who catching hell? Me and this fucking idiot. And I'm waiting on another idiot that I could have been out of this shit. Y'all don't know pain. Or do you, Virgo? Because these glasses look like she can see real good up out of them. These people out there fucking man. Let me pop one more and get up out of here for y'all be gonna see my gangster come all the way out. Just wanted to come out, but I don't even know what the fuck to do with it. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. Okay, nine of cups. Okay, what the fuck is that? We've been loving ourselves. That's why it came like, it's not the issue. And ain't nobody gonna keep on, don't keep letting people make you the issue, Virgo, telling you be patient, you need a little bit more to do. No, at some point you start eating on bile, you know? When you start tasting bile, when you throwing up, you get sick. You try to eat something, you can't. You throwing up bile. Is you take this? Is, uh, I can't do it. This is, uh, uh. That's what this is. Uh. <sighs> All right, Virgo. Let him like. 